It's 5.20 on Friday night. Welcome to a weekend in the life. It's been a minute since I have vlogged full stop, so I'm feeling a little awkward right now. Don't know if you can tell. It is Friday night. I have finished work for the week. I actually, my new job, I finished work at 3 o'clock, which is, like, I start work early, but I finish at 3 p.m., which is absolutely stunning but i'm gonna vlog this weekend for you guys i was originally gonna vlog this for tiktok actually and then i was like hang on a second i have been neglecting my youtube channel why are we vlogging this weekend emma why is this weekend so exciting i have been very hush hush about it on youtube or just on socials in general because i get a little bit iffy about it but i've been living by myself for three months three months i've been living in this photo by myself and this weekend that comes to an end and I'm so excited. <laughs> I think this time alone, don't get me wrong, has been so good. So good for me. Like if you told me like a couple years ago that I had to live with myself for three months, I wouldn't have done it. I would have been looking for a temporary flatmate. I would have been moving elsewhere. I would have been, I don't know what I would have done, but I would not have coped. But by the grace of God, we have made it and it has actually been not too bad, but I am kind of getting sick of my own company. That is the big grand thing happening this weekend, but that's not happening till Sunday. Today is Friday and I'm starting the vlog tonight instead of tomorrow morning because Morgan and Tejal are on their way over and they are coming bearing pizza and donuts. And I'm gonna go make a salad and cook some chips in the air fryer. And we are gonna watch the last two episodes of Outer Banks, season three. Morgan's already seen it. Tajel hasn't. I haven't. So that is what we're doing tonight. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with myself once Outer Banks is finished. So if you have any other similar Netflix recommendations, do let me know. That is our plan for tonight and also an early night because all oh my days, I'm so tired. <laughs> They're not gonna be here for like another hour. I need to just time myself over for the next hour and i know once they arrive like i'll perk up again but i'm just at the moment i'm just like mm, oh, i shouldn't lie down for too long because i'll actually fall asleep this is like my equivalent of cracking open a cold one on a friday night absolutely stunning a little shawl on it make me feel a little bit fancy as i was saying mum and dad get home tomorrow night or tomorrow no, no, it's not even tomorrow. They get home on Sunday, but I'm gonna do the grocery shopping for this week just so that they don't have to do it when they get home. I kind of briefly discussed it on the phone with mum. Apparently we're doing pizza on Sunday night. That's great. Monday night. I reckon teriyaki chicken would be yummy. And Tuesday night we can do a courgette and bacon pie. Wednesday night I'm thinking chicken tikka. How do you even spell tikka? Like that, I guess. Like Miss and Tita. Thursday. I'm running out of options here. This is all my meal planning sheets the whole time I'm dating away. We're gonna do something with mints. What can we do with mints? Mints, mints ideas? We could do meatball and gnocchi. But I'm not here on friend. I'm not doing Australia. I'm not here on Thursday night either because I'm in Australia. Okay. Meal planning is done. Also, that's a spoiler for the next video that I'm going to Australia with my mum and my brother's girlfriend. I'm so excited. I can make a little salad for our dinner tonight. I have two different ones. Brocco slaw or I have smoky barbecue slaw. I'm thinking the smoky barbecue one. Okay, this is like not that revolutionary, but I do this when I'm like mixing things like this or when I'm like coating like meat, like chicken, like if you're coating it with something. Put it all in a container and you just shake it up. Um, where's the sauce? Oh, yep. It's right at the bottom. Wow, it's so creamy. Oh, it's time to be real. That's hilarious. Riveting content, Emma. Out of all the things that you clicked on this vlog to see, I don't think that you really clicked on it to see me squeezing sauce out of the pouch, but you're still here watching, so cap eye. Make sure you clip it on though, and then, and then you have a beautifully evenly coated coleslaw. And we're gonna taste test it because it would be rude not to. It smells like a, I don't know. It smells good though. It smells like a black, Smell like a barbecue. Oh. Not bad. I rate that. Now we have a meme with a steak and chips. Just got a call from Rachel and it was so cute. She just like rang out of the blue. She's like, what have you been up to? I'm like, oh, stop it. You're so cute. And I also drank all of my kombucha. Music to my ears. Morgan just messaged to say she's five minutes away and Tadel's about two minutes away. I'm so relaxed right now. Like my posture is non-existent. I'm like fully... 
on the diagonal right now. Anyway, that's my chips ready. Why am I so tired? It's things like this where I'm like, I'm so tired. I know I'm not having kids anytime soon, like anytime soon, but it does make me a little bit fearful for the day that I do have kids and I'm like, my sleep schedule is no longer, it's no longer on me. Like I don't have control over that. Absolutely terrifying to me. Tayshia's here. And yes, you did bring the, and we've got chippies. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, she's taking a selfie. <laughs> we work across the road from each other and um, we were talking today that we needed a little sweet treat. We haven't told Miss Morgan what, what the sweet treat is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does Morgan think the sweet treat is? Well, I saw a box and now I know that you guys didn't bake it, so you actually cheated. I think you'll be glad we cheated. Like a chocolate tart or something. <laughs> Carry it over. Bum, ba, ba, ba. Can you guys want to change my mind? No. No. You were terrifying. The way she's coming towards me like this. Yeah. <laughs> we um have watched one episode, so we have the last episode to go, and it's an hour and twenty minutes long. It's like a little movie. This is me before watching episode ten, oh, yeah, season you, three, you, you, Out of Banks. This is me. What? <gasps> Damn it! I screwed it. This is me before. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't walk in for this. <laughs> what am I saying? This is me before watching. What do I say? <laughs> say whatever you want. You know what we're watching. This is me before watching season ten. three, episode ten. Ditto. This is me after watching season three, episode ten. <laughs> this is me after watching season three, episode ten. Ditto. <laughs> I have a guest staying with me tonight. It's a bit cold, eh? It's Because right. I went outside. It's actually not cold. It's alright, because you've got fluffy sheets on your bed. Fluffy sheets and heaters. Uh, I said your bed. It's my bed now. Morgan has taken over the I've spare bedroom. Uh, Morgan thinks this toothbrush is the funniest thing ever. It's so funny. Do you have to stand here and watch her just like hold it in her mouth and it doesn't move, it just beeps? Like how am I going to keep straight? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is the most stunning day today and I've just been rugged up in bed just doing my little Bible study in Deuteronomy 4 today. I also have my, <laughs> my fake fireplace going on the TV. Honestly, this fake fireplace is like my favorite thing. It's so cute. Morgan is here, Morgan studied last night so I need to go downstairs and um, I think she's having a shower actually. She was snatching at me before. And then she is heading off today to Tauranga because she's going to see Rachel. I'm just at home, well kind of at home today. Tejal is going to come over in like just over an hour probably. And we're going to go to Sylvia Park because I have a little bit of shopping to do. I have some birthday presents to buy. And I also need to update my corporate wardrobe now that I have to actually dress semi-professional five days a week rather than working from home where I would wear tights and a hoodie every day. I haven't been shopping in a really long time. I don't really enjoy it that much. I don't really like spending money to be honest. But I'm going and I have a list and I have like exact things that I know that I want to buy that I've seen online. But like the clothes that I want to buy I kind of want to try them on first. You guys hear those seagulls? I heard this thing that when, like I don't live near the ocean, but I heard this thing that when seagulls come inland it means there's a storm on the way. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's, actually should I search it up? Let, let's search it up. What does it mean? when seagulls are inland. Oh, seagulls prefer to be in the air or to sleep on the water. Strong winds may make flying difficult for them and they don't like rough seas, so they go to land. This is not a long-term prediction of bad weather. It's more of a sign that the weather, weather is getting bad right now. Cool, great, stunning, love that. Thanks, Google. <laughs> now that we know why there are seagulls around my house, how I said that the weather was lovely today, then maybe that's not gonna last the whole day. Let's um go and get ready for the day. Oh, hey. Hi. What's up? This is an unusual sight. It's <laughs> never you really, happened. You never sure not happen yet. <laughs> well, you look so cozy. Yeah, I've got my lovely pajama pants on. My hoodie. I look like I'm going to. You smell good. Belgium or something. My eyes are also <laughs> swollen. Do you see that? No, I don't. It is 10 a.m. Morgan has gone on her way to Tauranga and Tejal is about 15 minutes away. Tay has sent me a new song this morning called Goodbye Yesterday by Elevation Rhythm. It is so good. Also, RIP my Jordans. I mowed the lawns on them and they got grass stains. Don't don't ask me why I did that. My options were Birkenstocks or these and I didn't think that um, 
it was very safe to mow the lawns of Birkenstocks. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, Taya sent me a new song. It's so funny hearing like a new praise or worship song. Like you've obviously never heard it before, but then you can kind of piece the lyrics together. It's like obviously the song can build off scripture. And so you're like, oh yep, I know this Bible verse and you can kind of sing the lyrics even though you've literally never heard the song before. It's so funny. The reason I need to go shopping is because Okay, these tank tops that I have, they're from Dish. They're amazing. I have a black one and a white one. They're so nice and warm and like, obviously they're a tank top, so they're only as warm as a tank top can be. But they're such a nice thick material and they don't sell them anymore, so I would buy them. But I literally wear, like, I alternate between them literally every day at work. It's so bad because I wear them underneath like a knit jumper. But I need, I really just need to push the boat out. Like, I, this, this exact outfit, these pants, this cardigan, like, I wear this all the time. I need to switch it up. We've been walking around for a bit and have found uh, like nothing. Minutes. We had 20 minutes <laughs> and we've been into Sterling Sports and Cotton on and Adidas and found nothing. Well, but we found just, lots of things that we can't afford. But we just didn't want to buy them. But anyway, we have found the moustache cookie mask. So we're going to get some cookies. Hey, um, could we get a three pack of cookies? And could we get two triple choc and one Nutella? Did you want them Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy in front of us got a free one, did we? No. Oh, it's alright. It's fine. <laughs> There's a Nutella one for me, triple choc for Tejal, and I got a triple choc for my brother as well. Oh my god, they look so good. Do you want to try it now or we have it later? Up to you. I'm kind of not hungry now. I think I might have mine later. But if you want yours now. No, that's fine. We should have logged and came out. It was a bit chaotic. I still need a belt and a white blouse, so... Do you want to go back in or you can't bother? A what? No, I can be bothered. Okay. Well, we'll go back in in a but second. But can I have half? We're just going to have half of our cookie. It's a little bit... Oh. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Look at that. <laughs> it's been a very successful day of shopping, guys. I think this is the most successful shopping trip I've ever had. I haven't, but we'll see my okay. I'm gonna have self control. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so tasty, but I'm making such a mess. Did you find it? Did you taste on it? Yeah, did you want some? Mm hmm. Can you put some in my hand for me? Thank you so much. I'm gonna touch some white shirts. I'm gonna touch some white shirts. <laughs> That ended up taking so much longer than it needed to. It is 20 to 3 and we just got home. Let me give you guys a little haul. I'm super stoked in that I went there. I had my list of things to buy. I bought them. It was successful. But I spent so much money. I'm so... That's not something I'm proud of. These are all staples that are going to be in my wardrobe for a long time. Let's start with the basics. I got a belt. Black belt from H&M. It's 15 bucks. This was my big purchase. I spent $300 here. This is what I went in for. I've been wanting one of these for like a year. And I'm pretty sure what Taya, hang on, I'm slowly sliding away here. I'm pretty sure Taya has this exact same one. It is just a plain denim skirt, but it has the slit, like, not up, well, but like, up to, like, the backs of your knees on the back. There's a blazer that I went in there to buy. I tried it and I didn't love it, so I didn't buy it. But instead, <laughs> I found these when I was perusing in the sales section. It's just like a white blouse thing, but then it has, like, a little thing that you can tie up at the back. And I loved it so much that I also bought it in black because they were half price. So I got two for one, basically. White version of the top. It's, like, it's not see-through, but it's more, it's, it is, like, a slightly sheer material. So I went into Glassons and I just got a plain white singlet that I can wear underneath it so there is no risk of exposing anybody to anything and then I went to Kmart and did my present shopping but I can't show you guys that because everyone I bought presents for is probably going to be watching this and so I don't want to ruin their surprise I went to Foot Locker and I've had my eye on these okay I do have these shoes already in like a baby pink color I bought them in like 20 17 like I've had them for a long time now the box I'm aware it is small it is very small my feet are a size 8 these are a men's five, which is a woman's seven. And I don't know why, but they fit me, so they must run large. But they are just Adidas Gazelles, black and white ones. I feel like those look so sophisticated. The only black and white, like, tidy shoes I have are my Converse, but I just don't think they look super tidy, so I think these I'll just reserve as being nice, tidy, clean shoes. Um, and they're only, I say only 110, because I'm pretty sure when I last bought my pink ones, they were like 180. Those were my purchases. Spent way too much money and now it's time to have some lunch because it's basically dinner time. Changed my jumper and I have put my new shoes on and I know literally in the last clip I was like these I'll just reserve as being nice tidy clean shoes. Something tells me that going to the supermarket probably isn't a special occasion but I'm the one making up the rules so <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm back from the supermarket and just in the nick of time because it is pouring down outside right now. I've got oh my gosh I can't even <laughs> they, call. they had like a taste tester person there and I'm a sucker for the taste tester people and they were doing salty licorice 
dark chocolate. I don't particularly, I'm not like, I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of licorice, but like it's not bad. This is so good. I don't know, anything else exciting? Oh, I got a new tea to try. Peach tea. I also bought a whole bunch of Mars bars to make a Mars bars slice. A little snack for my lunch at work. I haven't had these since like intermediate. As I was getting in the car to come home, Cameron rang me and he's like, you wanna come over to our place for dinner tonight? And I was like, yeah, I'll come over to your place for dinner tonight. Cause I need to go see Sage anyway and they all live together. So I'm gonna go over and have dinner at their flat. They said they were having lamb, but I think he was like just joking because I know Sage doesn't like lamb. I think he was like joking because he thinks that I don't like lamb. I don't have any problems with lamb. Like, I'll eat just for anything. And that's what's happening tonight. So I'm going over there at 6.30. Chill out for a couple hours and then go over to their house for dinner, come home, sleep, and have an amazing day tomorrow. This has been such a good weekend. You know when you buy something new and you want to, like, do a little fashion show, try it on, show your mum what it looks like? I am going to now do that for you guys. My mum is not here. So I'm going to give you guys a fashion show. I've got the shoes on and you guys are getting my first impressions because I haven't even looked at myself in the mirror. Three, two, one. Yeah, that looked a little bit cuter in my head, not gonna lie. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel about this now. I feel like this is really pushing the boat out on my style and I feel like I definitely need to wear crew socks instead of no-show socks. Okay, it's got this like, hang on, let me untie it so you can see what's going on here. And I can also see what's going on here because at the moment I'm not really too sure. The shirt itself is like that, but I think it looks better tucked up like that. But then it has this tie on the back, which I don't really know what I'm meant to do about it. Oh yeah, that's kind of cute. Or does it sit funny? I don't know. You know what? I feel like this is cute and sophisticated and screams I'm not 17 years old anymore. Because the clothes, like 90% of my wardrobe is stuff that I bought in my first year of uni. And I'm not the same person that I was in my first year of uni. Let me tell you that much. These shoes must run big because I'm not a size 7 shoes at all. Like my running shoes are like 8 and a half. Oh, this is giving little lad vibes. I don't know. I think, let me put on, hang on. We're gonna do one foot with a no-show sock, one foot with a crew sock. You're like, Emma, it's not that deep. I know, but my socks are a big cause of my insecurity because I've always been a no-show socks gal. Like 2024, I pushed the boat out and realized that crew socks are actually elite. But I'm just still building up my confidence in wearing them. Every now and again, if you see me wearing no-show socks, don't ask me about it, it's not your business. I think the no-shows are, yep, the no-shows are the vibe. Let there be light and let there be a warm AC. Why is it so freaking cold? The sun's gone down and it's actually like my toes are numb. 20 degree aircon, absolutely not. Quarter past six and I'm going over to my brother's flat now to go and have dinner with them. And I've got my laptop so Sage and I can sort out our Sydney itinerary. Good morning, it is 6.30. I have just done my little Bible study of the day. I have been absolutely loving my Bible study at the moment and actually like taking the time to understand the context of what's going on rather than just reading it for the sake of reading it. I've always kind of like read it, taken notes, written stuff down, highlighted stuff, but actually like going through like the commentary on it and like actually understanding like where the scripture like links in with each other. It just makes so much more sense and it's so nice like when you're like singing a worship song or hearing a message in church or just like anything and just like having that context and be like oh like I get it now <laughs> it is five o'clock and I just got home I left the house after seven this morning I'm so tired and we're about to go out in like an hour back to my brother's house for dinner anyway church was great such a good message. So fun serving with Taya. It never disappoints. We drove separately. Normally we drive to church together. We drove separately today. Came out of church. We sat in the car for ages, like talking, just like about the message about life, whatever. I was like, do you want to come over for lunch? I was like, yeah, I'll come over for lunch. So we hop back in our separate cars, drive to her house for lunch. Classic chicken coleslaw and buns. Um, my parents were going to our family friend's house to get haircuts on their way home. And I was like, sweet, I'll just come over. And now we're home. And I feel like I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> just snacking on a plain pita bread. About to prep my lunch for the week. Now I don't work from home, I actually have to take my lunch with me, which is kind of annoying, but it means I need to be more intentional about it, which is probably a good thing. Last two weeks, I've been taking Israeli couscous, which I cook in like beef stock, so it tastes that's that is the water blaster. My peace of quiet is gone. I've been cooking Israeli couscous and beef stock and having it with pumpkin, like roasted pumpkin that I cook in, like I've drizzled with maple syrup, so it's kind of sweet. And then having that with feta and spinach, which has been great, but um, I've been having that for lunch for two weeks straight and I'm kind of sick of it. So switching it up for this coming week. Got some quinoa and I'm gonna do it with 
my pitted breads, which I'm going to toast them up. Halloumi, cucumber, capsicum, cherry tomatoes, and mix it all together and make like a little salad. I kind of like to take something to work where if I forget to put it in the fridge, it doesn't matter. And if I can't be bothered heating it up, it also doesn't matter. Campers have returned. <laughs> and they're bringing everything inside. No, oh, pancakes. Just before five days ago. But I'm going to make my lunch and then we're going to go over back to Matthew's house for dinner. It's like my cute apron. I forced myself to wear an apron while I cook now because I always wear hoodies when I cook and all my hoodies have like oil stains on them. My quinoa is cooked. It's looking really good actually. And then this is my container. I have my quinoa and then I've got toasted pita breads all cut up. My thinking is if I can get like four good lunch options down pat then I can just rotate them. So I've already got one. This is potentially option number two. I need to do a taste test. That's so good. <laughs> I'm officially looking forward to my lunch tomorrow. They're like all crispy and golden. Look at that. ASMR. Hello from me and my fox pajamas. <laughs> it is quarter past nine and we just got home and I need to go to bed because I need to get up at five o'clock. There's one thing to know about me. I need my eight hours of sleep. And I get so mad when I don't get my eight hours of sleep. But I refuse to enter this week being mad. I just suck it up and go to bed. Have a blissful night's sleep. Have a fantastic week. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming along with me this weekend. It's really weird that I'm like going to bed and there's like lights on in the house because there's other people living here. So weird. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay well. Make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>